Hello, everybody. Just got done doing the laundry at my brother-in-law's place, chit-chatting with all of them, uh, and you know, just kind of like thinking to myself that I haven't really tapped into my own personal network to try and uh, you know, I put it out on Facebook. I put a, a GoFundMe, but I could actually be hitting up some individuals, just letting them know any help would be appreciated for my keyboard. And so I haven't, I haven't even taken the time to really utilize that resource because that, that could be a pretty good resource for me to tap into. And that will just, you know, I'm doing these other ideas with trying to market myself at Guitar Center, for example. Like I'm going kind of out on a limb to do that when I actually have, you know, I have a support system. I, you know, sometimes we have that pride where we don't want to ask people for help when we actually really need it. And sometimes we find out later that uh, those people that hear about the story of you struggling, like, man, if you had just let me know what you was going through, I would have, I would have dropped this, I would have dropped that. And it's always like, you know, how many of us have those stories to tell, right? Um, so same thing, same thing I'm thinking now, like it's now because of that pride and I don't want to like be a beggar and, you know, because you know, I've been I've been around my family. Like I said, I've done some other business, home based business things, and I've hit them up. And so, you know, it's just that kind of like that pride and shame in some ways, kind of embarrassment to be like coming back and oh, what are you doing now? What are you doing this time? And you know, even though that might actually happen from to, to get that kind of like guff from somebody, you know, that's going to happen no matter what you do. I mean, anytime you're trying to pursue success, you're going to run into people that are going to they're going to be downers, they're going to be doubters. And that's just, you know, that's just, that's what this comes with the territory. So at this point, you know, I'm willing to go to strangers. I'm willing to hit up network. I'm willing to go do this, this little thing I'm trying to do for my music. I'm willing to go hit up the um, guitar center and see if I can get um, them to let me play there so I can like record my music and have a place to play. And the incentive for them is that if I get my stuff out there more and I get the funds raised, I, you know, it's all ifs, but, you know, they, they kind of have to be willing to help me out kind of thing. I'm asking them for help, a total stranger, a manager who I don't know to help me out. You know, and, and you know, I don't know what their policy is. You know, they might have, you know, you got to think about that from a business standpoint, too. Like, those rooms are rented for people to go in there and learn how to play an instrument. And the instructors are paid, and, you know, they've... They own those spaces. So there's real estate. There's there's these bills they got to pay, and so you know for that for me to ask them for a favor that may not you know that may not ever pan out for them. You know they have they have to look at they have to think about that because if the word got out and somebody knew I was using one of their rooms for you know not paying anything. You know, that starts to go around and everyone starts thinking they should have a right to play, you know, whenever they want. And that, that's kind of, so you can understand why businesses, they try to do, they play chess. They try to, you wonder why, man, why aren't you so, why aren't you generous? Or why don't you just give a guy a shot? You know, you got to take into account, there's all these other things they got to think about from a business standpoint. Um, but I get it, you know, that doesn't mean that I'm not going to try. Because I'm going to try everything that I can. I think I mentioned it when I first started building my reaction channel. That's another avenue. I'm just trying to do anything and everything that I can to start building my music because I finally believe in myself. And I happen to believe in myself at the point in time when money is really tight for me. Um, and I'm going to actually need help to get the equipment I need to not only help develop my reaction channel, but also to develop my music channel and to develop my music to take that to the next level. So, you know, several things to to consider. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on now. I'm driving. I'm heading over to Guitar Center right now. I said I just got done with my laundry, hanging out with my brother-in-law, my sister, hanging out with my um, former stepfather. I mean, he lives with them now. But you know, he became like a father to my younger siblings after I, I already left the home and was married. They're the younger siblings that, that know him as a father. And so even though he's divorced with my mom, he's still there as a father uh, in the home with them. And so I was hanging out, you know, 
know, just talking with him about different things going on. And, you know, again, I'm, I didn't really directly ask him for any help, and I could have. He's in a, he's in a position to you know, possibly help me, but, uh, you know, maybe down the road he said, well, if you just ask me, I would have, you know. So that's, hence the saying, ask and you shall receive. You've got to be, will, you got to be willing to ask um, for help, even if you feel like you're going to get denied the help. Uh, just being in that mode of asking when you need something is, you know, what do they call it? Um, uh, good fortune doesn't fall on a closed fist. You know, gotta have an open hand. I don't know, I just made that one up. Is it good fortune or whatever? Something doesn't, you can't feed, feed a closed mouth. <laughs> there you go, I've heard that one. I'm coming up with the clenched fist. You can't put money, there you go, you can't put money in the clenched fist, right? Your fist is clenched, you're too proud, and someone's trying to put money in it, it's gonna fall out of your hand, or not even in your hand, it's not even in your hand, right? Okay. So, yeah, I'm basically, I'm not looking for a handout, looking for a hand up, and that's part of the work, right? Because I already told y'all, you can go back to my videos, go back to the beginning of my reaction video and I already told y'all I'm willing to work for it sacrifice save pinch every penny that I can to get it might take me a couple of months but I'm going to get it either way it's happening it's happening whether someone you know helps me or whether I do it myself I'm getting that keyboard so I've already spoken it into the universe right what I'm doing in the meantime, while things are tight, while I'm waiting for things to like kick into gear um, and, and get to that point where I can get get it myself, this is what I can do. This is what I can do. I can get online. I can talk to fam, friends. I can get on my Facebook. I can get on. These are things I can do. These are things I have it that I'm in control of, right? The other things I'm not. Like, I'm not in control of all these other things that need to happen in order for me to earn some money, right? So, right now, the way things are, being out here in Texas, being kind of stranded out here and getting ready to go back, not really having a real home here yet, maybe in the future, but I was going to establish here in Texas, but it, it's looking like the situation, uh, as I've explained in the other video, that's probably going to be on the other playlist, as I've explained going back to my brother in California is the best move I can make uh, to be working on my stuff, working on my music, working on this channel, these, these channels that I'm building up. Um, and so more to follow on the other channels. I'm still thinking through, like I told you, I would have a, a crypto channel. So at any rate, I'm just doing these recordings just again to have a recording of something that's taking place in its infancy, we're planting the seeds, and we're gonna look at the progress, just like sort of like a like watching a building in the beginning phase. You're building, you're putting down the form, pouring the foundation. You know, then you got to put up the frame, all that stuff. We're building a house, and again, that's another inspiring uh, song. If you want to listen to from Tom McDonald, "This House," man, I built this house. And then with the people online that are helping me to build my channel, you know, Tom throws that in later. I like how he did that later, like all of us, like my fans, because he mentions who he has in his corner, which is just his girl and a couple other really close friends that help out when they can. And I think he has a guy named Evan that does some of the um, editing work and things like that. Uh, and then Brandon, um, he's collabed with him on songs. So... These guys are, you know, they're they're basically don't have anything else outside of that. No label, no no marketing team, none of none of those things. And one of the things he says in the song, it was just fans. You know, that's all he's got. Just him, what he's producing, what he's putting out there, and his fans, his loyal fan base, who's, you know, who's along with him in the trench, who's been with him in the trenches. I'm not. I'm I'm actually a new guy. I just showed up. You know, I'm, I'm a latecomer because I, I wasn't there in the early period. I didn't quite catch the vision of what he was creating yet. But when I came along, I, I, I was fortunate enough to go back in time and see 
how he has progressed because again he's left some footprints in the video world for YouTube for us to go back and go whoa this is where you started this is where you're at um, but they're all like they're like music video creations he has some spoken word stuff on there what I'm doing here with these vlogs and this whole setup is to also get more of a voice behind everything versus just me producing music or me just doing reactions this is a whole nother vlog that just kind of breaks down in words what's going on so people can go okay man you're here at this time you're here at this point of your history developing this and that yapping 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 like you did in the beginning whoa just got covered up on my side hp side on the uh sharp turn right there it's coming up my camera boom here we go again hey what's up everybody and i'm gonna snap a shot let's see if i can get out here and just show me pulling up to the amazing guitar center traffic here is looking pretty light hopefully usually you know i'm trying to figure out what good times maybe coming early stuff like that there might be less people in there making noise in the background so that you know, I could actually mess around with the instrument with all the noise and potentially even record myself. I'll probably just even click a recording here if I can. So, all right, guys. Oh. Let's get to this, see if we can meet the manager, make some connections. I'll let you guys know how it goes.